Hi ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I am going to show you how to use some crack sealer to seal some cracks in your driveway, okay? Now the product that we're dealing with here today is Latexite Airport Grade Black Top Crack Filler, okay? So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to use this. I'm gonna show you how easy this stuff goes on and what the product looks like after it's dry so stay tuned okay folks bear with me here today because i don't have anyone to actually film me i'm actually just using a tripod i'm going to show you how to open this uh, product up go ahead and take your little tip off it has a a, a lid on it, just like a, a, a like a jug of rear end grease would have you know like if you've ever uh, bought some gear oil before and i usually take it and go ahead and snip it off until that opening is about that size right there, okay? And now you'll want to uh, pull the little seal out of the top of it. I mean, all this is pretty self-explanatory. Lay this to the side for a minute. And definitely put yourself on some latex gloves or some nitrate gloves or something. Uh, you don't want this stuff to get all over your hands. It is a little difficult to wash off. Um, and what you're going to need here, let me show you what this is. This here is a Bondo spreader, okay? I think it's about a five inch wide one. And this I have found to be the best thing to use, okay? A Bondo spreader, not a putty knife, because you'll have more flexibility with this little unit right here, okay? So you can get yourself a Bondo spreader at your local home improvement store or auto parts store, okay? This is going to work the best. Five inch one I find works the best, okay? They come in four inch, and I think they come in like seven or eight inch. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this product and we're gonna try to squeeze it into these cracks. We don't even have to be exactly precise with it, okay? Cause we're gonna take it and spread it around with the spreader and we're gonna get it in these cracks. So I'm gonna start up in this area and try to stay here within the camera site here. And we're just gonna try to fill all these in right quick, okay? So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna squeeze out some right in this area, right in here, okay? Here's a big crack right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some out a little bit. Here's a couple little ones. Let's just go ahead and just kind of get a little bit of material out here on the driveway. Now folks, if you saw my other video, I've actually already cleaned this driveway really good, okay? And uh, with a pressure washer, and I also, have put one coat of sealer on this driveway okay so right and uh, before i even started filling these cracks because i wanted that sealer to go down in the cracks as far as it could because it's real thin and then i figured i would come back and fill all the cracks that were left and then we'll recoat it again and we might even make another video now with this amount of material down here i'm gonna go ahead and start working it in okay as you can see, with this little spreader, you can actually just work this stuff right on into the cracks, okay? If you get a little bit on the excess there, that's fine too. It'll be such a thin coat that it won't really matter. But you can keep moving this stuff around, scrape it down, keep moving it down the crack line until you get it all worked in, okay? And this amount here that's left on here is just, you know, it's just paper thin, okay? It's just a barely skim coat. What we're trying to do is fill this stuff up into cracks. So let's come over here. We'll take some of it and move right in there and fill that little crack in, that one there too, okay? Keep raking it down. And we will just keep moving down the driveway, okay? As you can see, this is a pretty easy process. Oh, I got this one right over here too. See how easy that just worked right in, okay? If there's a spot that's low there, just kind of dab a little bit because you'll get a little bit of extra that stays stuck right up in this area. And you can dab it off of there and then just rake it down. Keep moving down your lines, okay? Guys, this takes a little bit of time, but I think the job is going to pay off and be well worth it when I'm done here. Let me pause the camera and I will take you around and show you what it looks like when it dries. If you'll notice right now, it looks kind of brown in color, okay? But when this dries, it's gonna be black. Now it is gonna shrink in. I'm gonna take you, take you around and let you see what some looks like that's already dried. 
All right, folks, here's one I've done just a couple days ago. As you can see, it dries to a nice, uh, almost a semi-gloss black finish. As you see, the sealer will shrink up a little bit, but it does have the cracks sealed off. I may actually go over some of these cracks a second time to help finish filling that crack in. As you can see right up here, we have an area. Here's a crack that we filled in. You can still see the crack. I'm not so worried about that. I just don't want it to absorb any more water because uh, when water gets down into your asphalt over the winter time and then you get any freezing going on, that's what will crack your asphalt, okay? And cause bigger problems, okay? And we've let this thing go quite a few years without any attention. And I'm just trying to really save this driveway. So while the weather's still warm, guys, I want to get all this stuff sealed up, get another coat on before winter. All right, guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching our little video today on filling some cracks in a driveway. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, pretty simple to do. It's a little bit messy. Like I say, wear yourself some gloves, wear some old clothes, and uh, everything will be just fine. Thanks for stopping by. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.